This is yesterday's hair. It's pretty crusty, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Previously on How to Lose a Guy in Seven Days Without Having Actually Gone on a Single Date. Hubei, the meeting, the texting, the highs and lows, and his friend Kale. <sighs> what? The hell happened? And the months were quiet. And I had a lot of time to think. It seemed a bit ridiculous to me. He was Mr. Like, oh, hello, beautiful. Oh, I'm thinking about you, blah, 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 blah. I was more like, you know, what's your family like? When things got weird and he was all like, well, I'm gonna fall on this sword. <laughs> Whatever that was. This dude kind of broke up with me and we never even went out. Gave me like to his friend. I mean, this boy wasn't even gonna fight for me. I got up at six on a Saturday for you. So I think we were on two different pages. Kale's still trying to make moves and I'm just not having it. God, what? I <laughs> could have done things differently. And Kale just wasn't getting it. He just wasn't getting it when I was saying no. A few months later, out of nowhere, I get this text. Hey, yo, you got a Snapchat? Yes. Add me. And then he puts in his, you know, whatever. And I, I'm like, what are you doing? Why you do that? I don't understand and I don't trust it. And I don't like what I can't trust. But me and my roommate, you know, we're like, all right, well, we'll just watch this kid and see what, see what he's doing. He starts talking to me again. And he slowly starts picking up the text. And this is where things get shady like i totally 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 understand if i was hurt he was probably hurt you don't want to call them beautiful i understand you don't want to go back to that you can't you can't you can't but he started calling me like fool and like the word you should not be saying whoa 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 men don't do that girls don't take that. That is crap. First of all, I'm a lady. I demand respect. After a while, I text him like, hey, dude, you know, are you are you mad at me? You know, still or uh, whatever. You're talking to me really weird. He's been all like, oh, I don't, I don't know what you mean. You need to loosen up. <laughs> okay. But then he starts asking me questions like, so you still talk to Kale or... <laughs> no? Oh, okay. And I don't know how the conversation turned from whatever it was to the other thing it was, but then suddenly, let's get pizza, bring me flowers, let's get ice cream. You owe me the little piece of my heart that wasn't completely frozen. <laughs> okay. But he would go between that and call me things that I did not want to be called. But also, excuse me, sir, after what you put me through, after you not fighting for me, it sounded an awful lot like you want me to take you out on a date. That's not how I work. But I'll bite. Are, are we in the, the friend zone situation right now? And you responded, do you want to be? Or, cause that's up to you. Oh! You gonna make me do all the work? This is why I hate group projects. But there's still something that doesn't sit right. I'm just gonna go back to the friend zone. <laughs> if you don't mind. Times were confusing. And I'm just trying to distance myself for a bit. And things have been quiet for like a month or two or five. I ran into him at swing dancing and I was there with my friends. He shows up with some girl and I just decide, you know what? There shouldn't be hard feelings, we, we could just be friends. So I go over and I'm just, you know, hey, hi, babe. Drops the girl he's with. He gives me a big hug. That little part of me that hasn't quite frozen over is just like, duh, 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 duh. I'm thinking, I own you, son. I gotta dance with this boy. <laughs> he goes off to one side, I go to one side, but he finds me. He finds me, comes over and he starts talking. And it's just like everything has started all over again. It's that first night and everything's perfect and he's so sweet. And I'm confused, obviously, but I'm digging it. This happens a couple times. Like, we keep running into each other. You'll be there, right? Y'all be there. Every time I see him, it's just da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. And I haven't felt that way in a long time. So I'm kind of freaking out, kind of enjoying it. Trying not to thug. But on the other end, that doesn't take away the part that he was talking to me the way he was talking to me over text. And it just, it just really confused me. And it, you know, it, it kept him in my mind a lot. Lord, if you can help me out, you'd be most welcome. And it's funny because I was praying, let me not care and just move on or <laughs> take him out of my life. After a week, I got this text from her babe, my lips. He was making a big deal out of him, let's just say. To my shame. I was encouraging him a little bit. Ha ha ha. Do you wish you could find me? And he was like, yeah. 
when I ain't gonna tell you. Girls, just don't do that. You might feel dirty after. I, I, I felt powerful. Uh, <laughs> um, but <laughs> as much as they should have respect for you, you gotta have respect for them. I was, I was playing a game without knowing all the rules. So it was weird. I was having conversations I never thought I'd have, and it was just. Okay, well, by this point, it is almost a year later <laughs> from that fateful night where we all met and all of this drama started. I feel like I've been dragged through the mud with this whole situation. So confusing. And I'd gone from, yeah, being so into this guy to all of his switches all over the map. And yet he had the audacity to get after me for being just, you know, Hey, just talk to me like a normal person. I was <sighs> kind of over it. Let me just set the record straight one more time and see what happens. So I bring up the fact, hey, I don't feel comfortable with the way that you've been talking to me this way or that way. My babe, he's just, I kind of knew it would. Set him off. You need to learn how to talk to different kinds of people because you're going to meet all kinds of people. Why are you so scared of it? Da, 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 da. I just respond with, hey, you know, I, I haven't received any complaints from anyone else that I know. But uh, if I had hurt someone, with the way I was speaking to them, or, or if I had hurt you in the way that I was speaking to you, I would want you to bring it up to me so I can resolve that issue. That's what I think goes into a healthy friendship or any sort of relationship, and that's that's the standard I put on myself, and that's just what I'm bringing to you. If we're friends, I hoped that you could respect that. After that, no response. No response. Why you gotta be like that? <laughs> For the next month, Nothing. But this fool was creeping on my Snapchat. I am fun. I am cute. And I am no free ride. So <laughs> block, block, delete, delete. Erase that whole part of my life. This wild whirlwind of romance and drama and horror stories. The drama died. Not with a cry, but with a whimper. And a couple clicks on the phone. I got a shirt at a discount. So, I mean, I have that. The end. Thank you for listening. Thanks for uh, staying tuned. All you guys who have or haven't heard this story before. It's one of my favorites with my friends. And I have many more. The good, the bad, the strange. I actually just got a request for uh, <laughs> one of my online dating stories. So stay tuned and I will see you guys. <laughs>